Right, let me know if not able to see anything on my back. All right, so you should see me, you should be seeing information extracted from somewhere. Okay. All right. Now, um, information that you see today on the slides here, I extract from uh, University of Michigan uh, Library uh, website, basically to help you to prepare your uh, your report huh, or your homework today. So your homework today is, since you're the group, two person in one group, today I want you to choose a topic to start um, practicing on the digital review uh, or, or, or some, uh, to, to find information about that topic, okay? So your homework today is to choose a topic. Um, then next week we learn something new to how do we do documentation for the topic okay so just a brief briefing because our end result is to write a review article okay to write a review article you should have a theme or uh, a topic to start with so how do you start by looking at this diagram first you and your partner you and your group member both of you discuss what do you interested about Okay, choose a topic that both of you are interested about. Uh, think of an area, think of a, a, a problem that you want to try to investigate or something interesting to you that you want to share with your friend. Okay, when during your presentation later on and when you uh, submit your report later on. Okay, because I want you to have fun while doing the assignment or homework for the review article. Okay, choose something that you're interested, both of you interested in. Okay, so this is the first one. Second, um, this one, you can, uh, this one is a small, small element, uh, but you can think about what, what, when you present your idea, will your audience get excited or not? Will, will your lecturer get excited or not? Will, will, will your, um, were your classmates excited to listen to your presentation? So this is, you need to consider, but small portion. Okay, important is this one. Important is you find something that you really love to share or really love to investigate. Okay, then this one, uh, also important that related to your interest is that the, the topic have to be current. Have to be current means have to be updated things that you investigate should be happening right now okay should be happening ha happening right now and maybe the you can choose something that happened within these five years okay something that new within these five years uh, you can talk about that topic right something that you want to do review about okay uh, of some phenomena that you want to investigate okay uh, and the scope, the scope uh, of your review or your topic uh, is more related to mechanical engineering or, or things that you learned from your first year until now. Okay, you can choose in the scope in engineering, but try to relate to mechanical engineering. All right, try to try to relate to engineering. Huh? Don't go to medical. Don't go to other area, uh, marketing and all this. Huh? So try to narrow down to mechanical engineering okay try to uh, if can i'm not sure whether uh, all of you still uh, are already doing or uh, in your uh, final year project one if no then take this opportunity to pick the balance point between your final year projects topic and uh, the one that you're interested in so that you can make full use of your time okay and again i my intention is i want you to be excited about what you write later on okay so something that you and your group group member excited about choose one topic eh? one area that you interested about because later you're going to for the next uh 12 weeks until week 14 you're going to look at that topic almost 
almost every week or almost every day. When you see your group member, you're going to talk about that things. So choose something that both of you are excited. And it's a current one. Uh, it's a current one that um, you, 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 can, you can look on, online. Huh? You can go to Google, uh, Google about that particular topic, whether you can, you, can, you can look for information about that or not. Okay. Uh, you can, after you decide a topic, what I, what I suggest you to do, you and your partner, uh, go to Google and Google Scholar. You go to Google in the search button there, you key in Google Scholar. Okay, G O O L E Scholar, S C H O L A R. Google Scholar. All right. So then you go into Google Scholar, you type in the, the, the keyword of your topic, then you see how many, peop how many people already published. Uh, papers, uh, publication in that particular topic. Then from there, you know, uh, that is the first thing that you help you to write your uh, report later on. Okay, so today your homework uh, is to discuss with your partners and later, later I want you to um, uh, yeah, okay, uh, maybe next lecture. Um, I will give you a form to fill in, uh, maybe an Excel file. I'll create an Excel file in Teams. Um, then you go to the Excel file to fill in your group. Okay, I will label uh, since they are, all right, so there are eight of you. So eight of you, I'll expect four groups. So I'll put group A, group B, group C, group D. So I will put, then you put, fill in your name there. Okay, you fill me in the Excel file. Later, uh, later, not the, later. Okay, when the file ready, I will text in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Um, okay. How to choose a topic? There are some guidelines. Choose a topic not too broad or not too arrow. Now this, this one is, you can say, oh, this one, uh, Doctor, I don't know how, how broad is broad, how narrow is narrow. Um, choose an area or topic that you can talk about, right? You can talk about. Uh, not too general, not too general and not too narrow. Uh, give you an example. Uh, I can just give you an example. Uh, um, for example, you choose to, you choose a topic on on drone, okay, because my 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 research interest is in drone, so you don't choose uh, you don't choose a drone design. Drone design is too broad, and then you don't go to uh, area like drone uh, drone power management, something like that. That one is too narrow. Means you don't go too deep into specialization in that area. For example, you don't do, uh, right. don't, don't, don't go too narrow that when you try to look information in the Google Scholar later on, there's nothing there for you to look at. All right. Maybe you look for, maybe nothing come up from the Google, uh, Google Scholar there. All right. So don't go too, too deep or too specialized in that. All right. Uh, don't talk about, don't talk about material, for example. Don't talk about uh, material property, plastic, plastic material properties. Uh, don't go into that narrow things, because you are reviewing a paper or reviewing a, a, a project or reviewing a topic where you can share. You, later on, when you can share trend, you can share what is the incoming trend, what is the development of a certain method, what is the uh, what is the history of that uh, pro a title that you choose from? Uh, what is the changes in the design, for example? Okay, for example, um, you can choose, I just give you some idea. Lah. For example, F1 car, you, you, you both of you, you are inserted in F1 car. So you can talk about how people evolve throughout the, for the last 10 years how F1 car evolved. You know F1, 
race have a lots of categories. So you choose one category and then you talk about that. Okay, related to engineering. Okay, related to engineering. So it can be simulation, it can be uh, uh, physical design and all this. All right. So you can talk about that. Huh? So uh, again, you think about at week 14 or week 13 or week 7 when you want to do presentation, you should able to tell a trend, a development of that particular topic. Okay. Uh, you should able to tell some data, okay, to, to plot some data or you should present a graph for that topic, okay, or uh, yeah, some history, some development, yeah, that are some keywords for that. Lah. So because you're reviewing something, lah, you review something means there's something that have developed, something that has happened from the past until now and what are the solutions that given? Uh, what are the solutions that have people have tried to solve that problem, for example? Uh, for example, you will focus on uh, a problem of, uh, I don't know whether, uh, if, you are, if you are interested in, in, in automotive engine or you're interested in uh, car racing, uh, something like that, right? So just to think about how you achieve that or what topic that, can help you to tell the story at the end of the semester. Okay. Again, pick something that you're interested in or you have experience in it. Okay. Or something that you like. All right. For example, me, I have interest in drone, in drone design, in 3D printing, uh, in um, FEM, you know, final element analysis. Uh, for example, I myself, I'm a scuba diver. I love to go into underwater and I use a lot of equipment. Um, then, is there any development in, in the design, for example? Right? So I myself, I'm a student pilot. I, I fly single, pilot, uh, single engine aircraft. So is there any development in the aircraft design for the last uh, five years or 10 years in the light? weight aircraft and so on. So try to look at, if you play golf, right? If you play, play golf or you play um, table tennis or badminton, is there, is there, any, is there any changes in, in the badminton racket or in the sport or something that related to mechanical, right? To the, mat, uh, to the design, to the material, right? You, you, can, you can choose about that, okay? You can choose something that you're interested in, okay? So I'm not sure about basketball or you can you can tr you can discuss about something that maybe you are you're very passionate in the basketball shoes right so you know that uh, if you follow along the uh, Nike uh, sh sport shoe series you know there is some philosophy in their designs right throughout the for the past 20 years all right so what are the philosophy they use right uh, things like that right um, or something about um, if you're passionate about arts, right? Arts, uh, for example, pen, right? Design of the pen is not easy, right? So what is the development of the pen? What is the design of the pen for the past 10 years? Or what is the latest technology to control um, the smooth uh, ball pen, something like that, okay? so. Choose something that you're interested in so that you can tell the story by the end of the semester. So, all right. So, yeah, something that is new, uh, something that you're excited to share, right? Both of you, right? you have to discuss with your partner. Don't, don't only you excited, then your partner, you know, feel boring. So you have to persuade your partner. Right? If your partner is not interested, then you find a balance point between you and your partner, okay? Um, yeah, this one, this one, another one. It should be not only you yourself interested, it should be interesting to others also. Huh? So your partner also should be interested. Uh, so, okay. Huh? And it must, you have to be something that um, people know. Lah. People know about it. You don't talk something that 
uh, nobody talk about it. Uh, and yeah, okay, so something like that. Um, information to consider when you write your report later on. Okay, so these are the questions that you can consider later on. You can uh, download uh, these PowerPoint sites later on in the uh, Teams. Um, give me some time, huh? I will upload, upload these Teams uh, maybe by 8 p.m. today, because today I have class until 5 p.m., until 5, 5.30 p.m. today. So uh, give me some time to upload the PowerPoint slides, but uh, this one will help you to, to construct your topic uh, or review uh, articles later on. So the first one, is there any problem that you're interested in to solve? Okay. So this one is when you, when you already have the topic and then after next phrase, after next phrase, um, when you download articles, uh, I will talk about the articles later on, but now I want to expose you what to expect after this, after you get a topic, what to expect, uh, what, what we expect you to do after this. So uh, it will ready you when you pick your topic and then uh, on the way you search for the topic, you will consider all this question. So when you have download a, a paper or a thesis about that topic, then the most important thing you could ask yourself, what, what, what does the paper talk about? What, is there any problem about, uh, is, there, is there any problem being at, discussed in that paper or in that uh, thesis? Okay, so is there any limitation? Is there any limitation uh, about the study. Okay, so this one is later, huh? later in next class when we, after you get the, the topics, after you confirm the topic and area of your research, then this one, this, this, this PowerPoint slide later on will be about the document that you look into, right? So when you look for information, you look for thesis, you look for people report, you look for a journals, paper, conference paper, then these are the area that you look for, okay? Yeah, so when you read, you, read, you look at what is the title of the paper, and then what, what are the problem they try to solve? So you, you will see this one in the first thing in the articles uh, called introduction or abstract. They will, they will mention all this in the first thing in the articles, all right? What is the method they use? Okay, what are the methods they use to solve the problems or to design the thing? What are the approach that you use? So this will be the point that you will use in your presentation. What method they use to solve the problem? What design or what tools they use or what mathematic model they use to solve the problem? Okay, so later on you will study about the framework how they design their, how they how they design their articles, right? How they design their experiment, how they conduct the research. So they have a framework. Framework means there is a way of doing things. Okay, their way of doing things. There's a logic of drawing the conclusion. Okay, there's a logic behind why the paper tell you so, right? Uh, why they design such a way? Why they why why they design such an interesting shape of that one? Okay. Yeah. So the next one is that what is the standing of that author? Does that author agree with some theory or not? Uh, so this one, the later one, a uh, more detailed one. Okay. Um, important one is look for the method that used that mentioned in the paper that you look for or the textbook that you look for in your topic that you choose. So what are the method they use? Later on, uh, later on. So is there any new method to, to solve it? Uh, okay, so does the, does the 
paper that you read give a reasonable uh, solution? Or is there, they're still researching, but they, they're making progress for the development? Okay, so yeah, something like that. Then, uh, yeah, so this one is, is more, when there's an article that you download from uh, Scopus, you download from uh, journal database, most of the time, it will meet this criteria where they contribute to the knowledge space, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what to expect at the end of the semester when you write your report, okay? You have four, uh, five, five uh, component that will give you marks or access you. First, abstract, introduction, body of the articles or your report, discussion, conclusion, and referencing. Okay, so um, each week I will give you a specific instruction to ready the review paper or, re or review report. So today just an introduction. So at least you, you will see, uh, you will see what you should do in the coming 12 week or 14 weeks. Okay. So we will, we, I will teach you how to write an abstract, how to do an introduction, how to do the body uh, discussion and referencing. Okay, so don't worry about how to do it, but today I want you to have, I want you to see uh, further, huh? I want to see further, uh, at least you know, from the day you pick your topic, you know oh, what I'm going to do with this topic, what I'm going to process, and what I'm going to produce. Okay, so abstract, uh, introduction, body, how you draw your conclusion, you have to discuss about it, and referencing. Now, just bear in mind that um, um, there's, a there's a minimum standard in my class for referencing if you want to review, if you want to submit a review report or a report that you review something, at least you have at least you have for your level, at least 50, right? Uh, I would prefer if you can do 100, means you read 100 paper, okay? But for starting point, I will fix at 50, minimum 50. Uh, what, what that means by 50? Means 50 articles or 50 textbook, 5-0, five zero, uh, five zero. it can be journals report, it can be conference paper, it can be textbook, it can be standard, it can be, uh, yeah, normally this, this few resources, uh, textbook, journals paper, conference paper, um, white paper, and thesis, right? Thesis, uh, thesis of somebody, right? So these five resources, um, from the first resources in your report later on, um, minimum five zero, uh, minimum 50 references. Mean five, 50, uh, 50 resources that you cite, that you refer to, okay? Meaning among these 50, it can be textbook, it can be handbook, it can be somebody else thesis, it can be um, journal paper, it can be conference paper, uh, and so on, okay? so. It will be minimum 50 if you want to make a good one because the you are you are discussing about data, you're discussing about trend, you're discussing about what is the progression of people uh, solve the problems of how people develop. For example, I'll give you an example. For example, you're discussing about the um, F1, uh, F1 design, aerodynamic design. There, there will be a changes of of uh, how people designed it, okay? Um, or yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, or how people solve problems of, um, um, how people solve problem of, you can see, you can say, you, you can talk about uh, car aerodynamics, how, 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 how the car industry changed for the past uh, 10 years, all right? Something like that, all right? Um, 
what else? Uh? Yeah, so something like you can you can discuss with your uh, partner later on. Yeah. Okay. So this these are the structure for your review. Uh, any questions so far? Any question for structure of review and all this? No, sir. Okay, good, huh? All right. So something like, okay. What are the example of review paper for this one? For example, like I say, I'm interested in drone design. So I already upload one sample of review paper in the Teams. So the full document already download uh, in the Teams. And this one only used for your module. Huh? And because this paper, you need to, if you go outside of university, you need money to download this document. Huh? So I give you free in our class. So you don't distribute this paper. Huh? This paper need money to download one. Okay. So um, it's a published paper. So I just want you to see what is the, what is a review paper? What, 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 what does I mean? What, what does we mean when we talk about review paper? So if you go to Teams, you go to File, uh, you go to uh, Teams under Files, you click inside the uh, uh, lecture, lecture slides, if not mistaken, you click inside the folder, and there's a document called um, a review paper or something, right? You download that, and then you will see that this paper actually consists of abstract introduction body discussion and reference so this one will will become your reference material at least you have some idea what what is expected from dr Ang. all right so something like this things like this um, i expect you to read uh, for the next 10 weeks or 12 weeks huh? okay so just bear in mind what is how to write abstract I'm going to just briefly talk about these five components. So at least you, you, you know what you should do later. Okay. So abstract. Abstract is the last component uh, after you've done all the research about your topic. After you have uh, after you have you have done your report actually. After you have done your report, this is the last part that you go because this is the essence of your report it summarizes it's a summary of summary of your report meaning in your report you have conclusion right so it's actually he's summarize your whole report in one paragraph so this is important where people read people know what you're talking about okay and this one uh, is very important for report. Huh? So this is the first part that people read and people know what you're talking about. Okay, for example, if you go to the document that I upload this one, so this is the first part of abstract. So if you read from the first line until the last line of the report, so of, of course you cannot see clearly, lah, but uh, normally when you download a journal paper, the first component is abstract. So this will be the part in your report that you explain what have you done from the from this week onward until the last week so what what have what have you find out for the last 14 weeks or 10 weeks from now okay so it's a summary of your of your studies okay, it's a summary of the study i will teach you how to write in detail later on next introduction introduction here will be an outline Will be an outline and then is more about the theory part okay it introduce you how you write your paper you, you try to lead your audience or try to read your reader what you're talking about okay what you're talking about All right you prepare your audience so there will be some theory in here so uh, you talk about history, you know, who started this one and uh, what is the motivation behind your topic? Uh, for example, this one. And then what are the, 
what are the fundamental uh, principles that use in that design or along your discussion, right? So this one is 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 a part that introduce uh, your audience to what you're going to talk about. Okay, so this basically is is more on theory, more on theory. Okay, and the body parts. Now body parts is the most important or the highest comp uh, marks in the report. So it's how you how you write your report. Again, detail I will brief you when it come to time. Uh, basically you will see that in the body parts, after introduction, you will see a lot of different sections. So different section means uh, you choose a topic. For example, um, you choose a topic. Uh, for example, I'll give you, uh, for example, drone. Huh? I'll give you a drone again. So your topic is about drone development in, uh, in the world. Then when you come to the body parts, huh? body parts, then you break what you want to, what you're going to share in the class in your presentation later on. So as you read through, you can group your data into a few category. Uh, for example, um, the, the, the paper that I share with you just now is a publication around the world about drone. So you can break into what happened to Asia, what happened to uh, American side. What happened to European side? Well, what happened to uh, others, other parts of the world? Okay, what happened to the development in all this region? Uh, yeah. So of course, from from your projects, you don't need to go to that extent, right? But you just need to know that when you come to body in your report later on or in your presentation later on, uh, you sh you can present a few points about your observation, a few a few important area that you see from the observation from your topic. Okay. Uh, let's say let's say I choose uh, let's say your group choose uh, the development of sport shoes, or the design of sport shoe, or the development of sport shoe something like that. Right. So sport shoe you can break into material. Is there any changes in the material? Is there any changes in in their sizes or uh, yeah the way they, they design uh, from material to design material is the first part of your body then the design how people design oh so previously people draw with a uh, hand and then they make uh, they make prototypes with their hand you know they they carve out uh, the shape of the shoes and then with the development of a uh, computer, people start to use software to develop. So what are the software that do? So you, you, you can group your, your, your title, especially when it comes to body. You, get, you can break into different sections. Okay? So sometimes if you're, interest, if, if, you're, if you're investigating a problem, okay, a problem, um, then you can group based on methodology based on method that you use. Uh, you can group based on um, um, yeah, based, based on the, the way people do soft things. So normally you have a minimum three three section, huh? normally three to four section uh, when it comes to body. All right. Uh, okay. And this one is after you explain um, in the introduction, then come to body, then in the body part, you explain in detail. There will be a trend or graph that you can plot from, from there, or there's some story that you can tell, okay? Then the discussion and conclusion means after you discuss about the trend that you, you, you mentioned in body, here you, you, you mention about a discussion and conclusion means you, you mention about what you observe. You mentioned what do you observe from here? Okay. You mentioned you you will see some trend in the body. Then when it come to discussion, what does you observe? What do you think about that 
issue? What do you think about that method? What do you think about, um, can you suggest another way to solve it? Yeah. So you're in the group, so I think you can synergize among yourself. I mean, you can come up with a new idea or discussion. So you can put something that you have discussed in your group and then you put in your report. Then you draw a conclusion. Okay. Referencing. Um, referencing is important because let's, let's, because the minimum you need 50 resources. So you need to know how to put your resources in the correct form format when you do your report. I'll also teach you how to do citation using Microsoft Word. Very easy. There's a function in Microsoft that you can do referencing. Okay, so these are the things that we expect along the semester. Um, yeah. So any, any questions so far from abstract to conclusion? Any questions so far? All right, so I will give you uh, a detailed instruction. So this is your homework. Huh? If you haven't grouped yourself, go and find a partner, two students in one group, meaning eight of you, I expect four groups. Huh? And I will create an Excel file in the Teams. Uh, you go and key in your name there. Okay, so at least the whole class, you can see uh, who already taken up, all right? Who already uh, grouped themselves, all right? All right. Then both of you, you discuss the area of subject that both of you interested in. So this week, your homework, first you find your group. Second, I will upload in the same Excel file. I will create a column for you to fill in what you're trying to solve or what subject that you're going in, you write in the Excel form. Okay, so for this week, I will collect your name first. Then um, you can write your discussion before next class, right? Next week, you will come to the area of, uh, you, you decide what is the area of your, you want to, you want to study about, or want to review about. Okay, so I give you some example. You can go into aerospace, aeronautics, mechanicals, marine, as long as linked to engineering. Okay, yeah. But aerospace, there are lots of parts from mechanical. Marine also, there are lots of parts in mechanical. Okay. Um, after you have the area that, or the scope, then you try to narrow down to specific problems or issue. Um, there will be a lot of uh, problem that you can discuss or uh, there are some uh, interesting phenomena that you want to discuss or special design or something. Uh, go for the issue that you want to solve, right? This one will be a more direct one, okay? Yeah, for example, uh, how, people, how people solve a uh, uh, gasoline problems, right? So in the automotive, why people choose go, why there's a hybrid? Why, why there's a word hybrid come out? Why, why, why they, why hybrid? Uh, why full electric, uh, electric car, right? And why do you think, uh, why do you think uh, uh, a normal petrol car can last longer than so you can discuss about that, right? something about that. You can talk about electric car, talk about hybrid car, you can talk about um, latest uh, technology in automotive or aerospace or things, subject that you're interested in. Okay, I want you to have fun. Huh? I, I want you to enjoy what you write later on. Okay, so I'll give you some something. Lah. So aerodynamics of race car, drone research in Malaysia, and so on, right? Of course, Malaysia is, if you're in drone research, drone research in Malaysia is quite limited, so 
if you are not in this area, then uh, try not to. Uh, okay, you can you can uh, you can grow this one into global, right? Chain chain Malaysia to around the world or something. Then uh, finalize your title. Okay, finalize your title. What you want to review? Okay, choose an uh, area, choose a problem or solution you want to look into, and then try discuss among your partner or your group member. Come up with the title of your uh, review uh, report, right? Your report, review report must have a title, right? What what are you reviewing? So come with the title. Come up with the title. So you have one one week time to think about it, all right? To think about it and to finalize the title. This one you give me before next uh, lecture, uh, next next class, next week. Yeah. So so this one next week. Next week in next class, I want you to present in the class. So I will expect four presentation next class. Uh, you will be given five to ten minutes, five to ten minutes to discuss about the proposal. Just to present and then let everyone know what 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 you're going to discuss for the next ten weeks. Right. So at least everyone in the class you know what what does your classmate interested about. So that when you're looking for information, you will find something that related to other group. You can share the information to your friend, right? Not not just keep to yourself, right? Because when you find information, you will look, you will come across uh, uh, something that useful to your friend. Then you just share with your friend, right? So next week, what I expected in your presentation. So it's about ten to fifteen PowerPoint slides, lah. About ten to fifteen slides, okay? To present. The title, the area, and what are the problem that you try to solve? You can use uh, you can use some um, uh, newspaper cutting or uh, some some news. You can use some textbook. You can use some uh, some publication. Uh. it can be newspaper. It can be um, to to what why why I why I say why 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 request you to go for newspaper and all this, uh, try to explain your motivation. Try to explain what motivates you to look into the problems or the, you choose the topic. There must be something trigger you. There is there must be something that um, pull your attention to that topic. So try to explain the title. Um, and 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 the the area of studies, and then put some motivation behind. I mean, um, like for example, uh, you talk about uh, car engine, um, then you put out articles. For example, um, um, SpaceX, uh, not SpaceX, space more on aerospace. Um, uh, for example, the Tesla and all these uh, Right. So, what what are the things that um, that um, that you want to discuss? Okay. So, yeah, this is a homework. Next week, I will expect a presentation. Right. So, next week, get prepared. Uh, you will be given five to ten minutes. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, next week uh, on Wednesday, is it? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, next week Tuesday. Tuesday. So, uh, do you think we have we will have enough time to uh, uh, read all the research papers in one week? No, I I don't expect you to to read all the research paper. I just want you to discuss with your friend, your team member, about a topic. I just want you to present a topic in oh. the area of studies. Oh, so not but the whole. No, the whole one is the week 14 later on. 
Okay, okay. Uh, we, we do things slowly. I mean, I want you to see that uh, you will keep updating your work every week. And then at the, at the last week, you already come up with a very good presentation and a good report. So I want you to lead you step by step. I don't want you to like, well, oh, suddenly you need to do a lot of things, right? So you solve this, this question first. By next week, you come up with a title and the area or the problems that you want to investigate. Right? We've given five minutes, five to ten minutes. Right? Five to ten minutes to, 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 to share with everyone in the class that, uh, look, me and my friend were interested in this area and yeah, please support us and share information if you come across and all this. Lah. So at least everyone know what you're trying to look into. Is that okay? Yes, I understood, sir. Any more question? No, sir. Oh, I will end the recording.